Hey folks, Glenn here. I'm just working up a mix here with Neil Mac, uh, an original tune that he's uh, done called Made of Stone. And we've been trading mixes back and forth and uh, so forth. And uh, we had some uh, issues with the uh, mid lows uh, on the master. Um, sometimes the mid lows can have uh, frequencies that seem to accumulate and combine in the various separate tracks. And then uh, when the mix gets together, uh, we can sometimes have, um, you know, some booms and uh, muddiness and so forth. So what I'm going to do is open this up in Audacity 1310. Uh, uh, Audacity is a free audio editor that I like to use for the sake of these examples and so forth. I have several DAWs that I use, but this is uh, good for editing and for uh, showing examples of uh, things with recording and editing and so forth. So this is his mix, and we'll just have a quick listen. And I'm just going to operate on a, on a small passage here of the mix and you can apply it to the overall file uh, the same way as what I'm doing just to this section here so I've just selected a small portion of the mix we're gonna play it okay and I'm just listening for the bass frequencies and those low mids So that bass is still uh, kicking through pretty good, but um, it uh, seems to have lost a little bit of the fatness and so forth. So we're just going to take a look and we're going to see what's happening. Uh, I did ask uh, Neil to roll back everything from about 80 hertz and below to uh, roll that stuff back. And uh, let's just see what it looks like on Vox Single Span. It does sound like we've still got some stuff around the you know 400 hertz and, and so forth area. Let's just take a look. What I do is bring up the Vox Single Span. You can't see this stuff on the fly, so when you've selected your audio, you hit Preview, and it'll show us uh, what we're looking at here. Preview. Preview. Wow, we've really got some big spikes happening. One at 200. I think there was another one around 500 or so. Yeah, yeah around 400. So... The high end energy has improved. It used to be way down here. It's now up here. And uh, there's a 200 hertz and 400 hertz area spike, all those low mids and so forth. The 100 hertz uh, area is quite nice and uh, it's been rolled off around the 80 hertz and below region. Yeah. Actually, the 100 hertz is looking a little low compared to the 200. Check that out. Yeah, so that tells me what I need to do. If you look at the EQ curve again, look at this curve as it plays. I know it's a short glimpse, but that's uh, what we're dealing with there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to EQ this in the um, in a manner which is opposite to the curve that we saw. So I'm just going to go to a, I've got a bunch of equalizers I can use here, but I'm just going to use a, the simple equalizer that's in Audacity, and uh, with it we can, we can uh, see what we're doing as far as the curve and all that kind of thing. So it's a good learning tool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 200 hertz region and click on it and make a, a dot there and also at the 400 and then one at 500 I, 500 and I'm going to I'm going to pull the 400 Hertz region down by about 3 or 4 DB likewise I'm going to pull the 200 Hertz region down I'm gonna because there's a peak, uh, a peak there I'm gonna pull that 200 Hertz region down by 6 and we can correct it later if it's too much but we'll start off with big cuts and, and uh, so forth to begin with and then fine tune it as we go if we need to. 100 hertz region. I wanted a, a bump there because we seem to have lost a little bit of that so I'm just going to go to the 100 hertz only. See I can make that narrow just to the 100 hertz and then at everything below 100 hertz you can cut that like so. So that should bring the 100 hertz bump for the kick drum and the bass back up while cutting that mud out of there and we'll just see what it does. I hit OK 
and see what it does to the waveform. It's just lowered it. I'm going to undo it, and you can watch the waveform change and redo. So that's the equalization on it there. Now let's have a listen. Much nicer. Yeah, much nicer. And now let's just double check that. We'll go back to the span and we'll take a look and see what uh, if that 200 hertz and 400 hertz region is still uh, bumping up or what. It's actually much improved. Yeah. You can see overall that it's almost a straight line going across the top. There's a few peaks and valleys in between and whatnot, but in general, it's basically a, a, a flat line going across. What's that 100 hertz region looking like? Right here. Right here. Watch right there when I hit that preview. Yeah, that came up. Yeah, that came up. So there we go. So you can keep tweaking like that. And uh, what I would do is just undo and then I would uh, select the whole file, control R, and that will repeat the equalizer and apply it to the entire track. After that, I would uh, you know, do my limiting and uh, do the gain and so forth from there. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you want to trade some information, talk about recording and so forth, join us over at gmhcafe.ca. And uh, hit subscribe too, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.